the oldest house, both a place shrouded in mystery and home of the Federal Bureau of Control. Although its exact origins remain a mystery, its presence became known to man when it was discovered on August 4th, 1964, during a Bureau investigation of an altered world event in the New York City subway tunnels. Four years later, the Bureau would declare the oldest house its home on November 13th, 1968, after much deliberation. While its appearance is that of a nondescript concrete skyscraper, it is a place of power. A place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. The oldest house is ruled by paranatural forces and thus is not bound by the normal rules of our reality oftentimes resulting in real-time distortions of reality, like the building itself shifting in an almost dreamlike fashion, or even things as subtle as coffee cups suddenly disappearing. While under constant study, the rules and logic of the oldest house are still mostly incomprehensible and are likely linked to transdimensional forces outside of our own. One of the most peculiar things about the oldest house is its ability to conceal itself from the eyes of the population. A person cannot simply locate or even stumble upon it, it's almost as if it has a will of its own, and will only permit someone entry if it allows it. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It makes me wonder whether or not the discovery by the Bureau was simply a mistake, or if the building itself had motivations of its own. Even Jesse Faden was only able to find it with the help of a transdimensional being. With that being said, it also granted the agents of the Bureau the same ability, helping the organization as a whole work in further secrecy. While reality in the building was initially unstable, the Bureau was able to secure large portions of the building using control points and the help of the board, a paranatural entity represented by an inverted triangle, which as far as we know, is one of the ruling bodies of the oldest house and is intrinsically tied to the building itself. While their grand motives ultimately remain unclear, one could speculate that securing the oldest house in collaboration with the Bureau is in its best interest, seeing as that the physical space of the oldest house seemed to have some effect on their reality as well, seen as the inverted triangles in the astral plane. Currently, there are five primary sectors under Bureau control within the oldest house. The executive sector, where high-ranking officials control all other major operations, maintenance sector, where power, plumbing, and the building security systems are facilitated, research sector, where the Bureau conducts all their experiments into paranatural topics like telepathy, synchronicity, or transdimensional travel, containment sector, home of the Panopticon, a huge structure where altered items and objects of powers are kept studied, and finally, investigation sector, where leads on altered world events and other supernatural occurrences are investigated. Even with all of these sectors under control, there are still new areas of the oldest house being manifested on a regular basis. These are called thresholds, which are a bridge between an alternate dimension and our own world, but I'll get more into those in another video. I'm fascinated by the oldest house, and the game left us with too many unanswered questions. I would like to know more about its origins and purpose. I'm not even sure if the place is inherently good or evil but I haven't had a game make me think so much about its worlds and lore in a very long time. With that being said, thanks for watching. If you have some ideas about what control topics I should cover, let me know, and be sure to like, favorite, and take control. This is Susquid, signing out. In all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know.